Hi, in this video I will be going through how to set up an OSX server, Mountain Lion, to run as a PPT server. I'm going to be using two virtual machines in this video. The first one with the blue background will be my OSX server machine. It has, uh, as you can see, two network interfaces. Uh, the first one is connected to my home network. The second one, uh, Ethernet 2, is connected to a uh, VMware virtual network without a DHCP server, so it has been manually set to this IP address 217 at the end. This machine, uh, this network, will be connected to uh, a Linux machine, which I should be able to connect from the client once it's set up. I'll move on to the client, which is the machine with the green background. It will basically, it's a standard OS X Mountain Lion machine that I will set up as a PPT client to connect to, as you will see, the third machine in this uh, demonstration, which is uh, basically a virtual Linux machine that runs uh, normal Linux and it has this IP address. Okay, let's start setting up the OSX server. I'll start by opening up the server app and then press continue and answer agree to the agreement Apple wants you to agree to, then enter your password Here I'll select the network on my home network, which is going to be used to create the server identity. Since this is a virtual machine, this uh, will take a little bit of time, so what I'll do, I'll remove the dead time from the video. Here the server will uh, ask to be named. Um, I'll change the host name from the number uh, to uh, basically testserver.h.ih36.net and then press continue. At this point uh, it's finishing up. Uh, it lists what it hasn't configured, either because it's failed or because it cannot default the settings. And in this case it's just telling me that it cannot default the directory server. I have to make that myself. So I'll just press finish. Then the server app itself will open and uh, showing me what kind of hardware I have here and what kind of services is running. And at this point it will only be DNS. Uh, while you see this uh, spinning circle at the bottom, I recommend not doing much with the server app because it's still reading or writing information to the server configuration. So let's go down and uh, configure the open directory. Just click on it. Then go up and uh, slide the switch over to on and that will bring up the wizard for creating your open server directory. Open directory domain. So we'll select the first option and press next. Then we'll just give the director admin a password. I use the letter P here since this is just a test server. It's quick to type. And this is the administrator of the, the oh, directory administrator. Organization name, fill in whatever you want here. Uh, I'll just put some text in here. The same goes for the admin email address. Uh, for, for a private server, this doesn't really matter since nobody will be sending in emails to this user. And then press next. Uh, 
and this is the summary screen and then press setup and it will go ahead and create the directory for you. That will take a few seconds. So here it's finished up. At this point you'll see that uh, your open directory has been created and at this point we should be able to define users. I'm actually doing a mistake here um, which is easy to make and I'm creating the new user uh, as a local user and that doesn't work so the username is set to Bob Babalina so username is Bob uh, email address again doesn't really matter I'm just filling in something here password I'm using the letter P so it's quick to type and uh, the home folder is set to none because this is going to be a user that just logs into the VPN. Once this is done, um, you have to go down and click on the cogwheel and select Edit Access to Services. And in this screen, just make sure that VPN is set. Since this is the only thing I'm setting up the server for, I'm just removing everything else and press OK. So then we have to set up the VPN servers and I'm selecting uh, L2TP and PPTP. The host name is already set up. Uh, the shared secret is used by L2TP. I'm just going to change that into something that you can remember. In this case, a very secret indeed is my secret. Then I uh, have to change my addresses. So there is 16 for L2TP as default and 15 for PPTP. Since I'm setting this up as PPTP, I'm going to change uh, that down to most for PPTP. Uh, again, I have some trouble with my keyboard here. Uh, this is stupid logic keyboard, but a numeric keyboard doesn't really work. It just does stuff. So it fails again here when I try to press and type in the IP address. try again this time using the normal numeric keys so I'm putting aside eight addresses and then setting the IP address starting at address on the private network so 150 for instance and then I'll drag the slider um, all the way over to PPTP since that's what I'm going to be using so at this point uh, my um, there is no specific routes I need to define, but at this point my uh, VPN service is set up, so I'm starting it. And then when I try to move away from it, since I changed the secret, I have to restart it again. I'm not sure if this is a bug in the server app, so I'll just press restart VPN. At this point, we should be up and running, um, so I'm going to be swapping over to my uh, client machine to set it up. So, here we go. On this machine, I'll just click on the system preferences, go into the network settings, and then cl click the plus sign, select VPN, and then select uh, PPTP, call it something uh, spiffy, and press create. Then I'm going to set the server address that was testserver.h.ih36.net. Obviously, in your case, it will be different. Account name was Bob. And authentication settings, I'm storing the password P here. And then pressing apply. And then press connect. And because I defined the user as a local user, this fails with authentication error, which is what you would have gotten if you just tried to use PPTP uh, after upgrading to Mountain Lion server. So let's go back to see, uh, see the error logs to see exactly what is being logged. It should be the same type of messages you already have had. So let's switch this over to uh, my VPN log. And you get the failure to get the, what does it say here, the 
MPPE key required, but uh, its retrieval failed. So at this point, when I made the video, I didn't realize that I accidentally created Bob as a local user. So I tried changing my um, encryption settings to make it work, and just look to see if I can change some authentication settings. But there is nothing in here, so I just press OK and apply. And then try to connect again. And it doesn't work anymore this time. Fail again. At this point, I try to uh, turn off encryption, which is always a good thing to try, just to make sure that you're testing as few things as possible. Uh, I forgot to press apply here, so it just went straight back to the previous setting. So trying to disable it again, press apply, and then connect getting the error again. At this point I realize that something is very wrong, so I go back to the server app and go back up. Looking, Open directory seems to be okay and looking at the user and then I notice that uh, there's really nothing special here. This looks okay. But then I notice that it says local user at the top so then when I switch to local network user, which is the users that are defined in the open directory, there is no users there. So from here on in, the fix uh, the fix is really quick. I just go back to local users, delete Bob, select uh, well at this point the app crashes. So we start up again. Go back up to my users. Uh, local network users we set this time, so I type in Bob Bobolina. Account name Bob. Skip the email address, set the password to P, set the home folder to none, and select done. And this time I select uh, all users, and you see it says uh, local network user. And I go in and check the access to my services, disable everything I'm not using. In your case, you will probably be using more than the VPN service, so just make sure you check the correct ones there. And then this time I go back and set it to maximum, apply, connect, and bingo. We have connection. At this point, I'm, everything looks okay. I'm going to verify my connectivity, so I go up and start my terminal. And I ping the IP address of the Linux machine. It responds, so I'll try an SSH to the machine. So you'll see that also works pretty well. And that's really all that's to it. Just make sure that you define the users in the open directory and PPTP should be working fine. Uh, the only other thing you need to do is to make sure that you uh, set up port forwarding on your router to point to your OSX server. That's it guys. Have a good day.